If you guys want a little update on the King Ranch, it's got just about 130,000 miles on it now. And in terms of how great this truck ran, out of those 130,000 miles, there was one catastrophic issue, and that was turbo failure. And luckily, he pulled over as soon as he felt the truck starting to lag and not build boost. He instantly pulled over because he knew it was coming because there was a, a shop not too far from us. They do a lot of diesel stuff. And they were like, just so you know, that truck turbo could go out anywhere from 50 to 100, 110,000 miles. Just keep an eye on it. If you lose boost, just assume that the turbo went out and pulled over and turned it off because he's like, if you just keep running it, you'll burn the whole engine out of the thing. So. Luckily, he knew that was gonna come, and it, I think it was literally at like 75,000 miles driving it. Lost all boost pressure, and the thing just wouldn't accelerate anything else. Ended up getting it towed to that diesel performance shop, and it was in fact the turbo. The turbo had failed on the truck. Other than that, and having to put a 2017 style turbo in this thing, the truck hasn't had any other issues aside from that one. We're on our way to hopefully be picking up next truck here for the channel. I already put a deposit down, but some unfortunate things occurred after I put the deposit down. I put the deposit down, truck was in perfect shape. A couple days later, truck's no longer in perfect shape. Not like, oh my gosh, it's too far gone, you can't save it, but just some something very annoyingly unfortunate. And I'll go through everything once we pick up the truck, assuming we do, if we don't, then I'll just tell you what happened, and then, you know, just we'll just go from there. But. We're about 45 minutes out, and then um, if we get the truck, cool. If we don't, I'll let you know what it was and what my plans were going to be before it didn't work out. But we'll save those conversations until we find out what actually happened. So stay tuned, guys. Enjoy the video, and hopefully picking up a new truck. There's your sneak peek until we get to the house. Guys, I just cannot help myself. Yes, it's another second gen, but listen, we're gonna get this truck back to the house. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna tell you what happened to it because this thing was freaking mint when I put the deposit down. And it's still pretty mint, except for the hood. It's gonna be saveable. It's very saveable. It's not near as bad as I thought it was in the photos that he sent me. And uh, it's gonna be perfect soon, but let's get to the house, show you this thing. I'm pretty freaking excited because it reminds me a lot of a truck that we completely redid at one point, but with a twist, and I'll show you under the hood once we get back over to the house. To the house. I would say shop, but I can't say that yet. I gotta wait just a couple more weeks before I say welcome back to the shop. Can't wait for that moment because then I can do videos like this and even if it's super windy, um, we can still film them and there's no audio problems. And of course we have like 40 mile an hour winds right now, so it's pretty, pretty ridiculous because I had like this plan for a video to do around this truck and walking around it pointing out some stuff that I was gonna talk to you guys about, but the wind is horrible. And of course, with all of our stuff in the barn right now, there's nowhere to pull the truck in, even if I wanted to pull it in. We're gonna try to push through this. If the audio gets broken up from the wind, I apologize, I can't stop the wind from blowing, that's just how it is. If I could, I would put a pause button on it just, just long enough so I could film this video, and we're gonna have to work with what we got until we have a shop to where we can just pull stuff in and have no rain on us on rainy days, no snow on snowy days, no wind noise on windy days, and it'll just make it so much easier to get higher quality audio for you guys on days like this. So we're gonna go out here, I'm gonna show you around the truck and try my best to cup it around my hoodie to try to get the audio to be as good as possible like I normally have to do. Let's just get out there and show you around this thing and hopefully you guys like it. So I'm gonna try my absolute best to let the wind blow to my backside. It's a 1995 12 valve Cummins. If you're wondering about the wheel and tire setup the way that it is right now, that's obviously not gonna stay like that. The guy was just nice enough to put stocks on the front that way it could fit onto our car hauler. Big mistake I made when I bought it, I didn't even think about buying a trailer with drive over fender, so mine currently is not like that, so if I drive over them, I will just crush them. That's why that's like that for now. We're actually gonna take this to get a full paint correction, so hopefully we can get rid of most of those small blemishes. Interior wise, it's pretty standard, cloth seats, you know, it's got your gauges. The headliner, however, is brandy spanking new. 
brand new headliner. That was painted out black. Looks, looks pretty, looks pretty good. A new dash top on there. It's not the original, at least it doesn't look to be the original. More on the interior, but Coming on under the hood, we are rocking a compound turbo setup on this thing with a hood stack. So of course, you don't have your standard fan on the front end of this for cooling and assistance with that. It's running electric fans. Truck is not running AC because it was built as like a drag truck and a high performance truck. The truck had been completely overhauled and rebuilt top to bottom the motor 30,000 miles ago, give or take. He gave me tons of receipts, tons of documents on that. And he's gonna send me even more stuff he said that he can find throughout his house. and. Uh, send me over as much stuff as he can to cover all of the paperwork that he has on this thing but he gave me a stack of papers like that with receipts and you know stuff to keep track of everything that was done to it everything that he had hired out to get done it makes a little bit over 700 horsepower the turbo setup is an s364.5 over an s474.5 the dual intake setup on here it is studded of course it's got all kinds of stuff done i'll go over a full build spec in another video there's so so many things that are done to this truck. It has tons of aftermarket stuff, if you can't tell. I mean, everything from turbos to injectors to pump work to lines and cooling and everything is aftermarket under the hood of this thing. Ha, except for there's no hood on it. So we'll get into that. This thing does look completely sick. I'll show you a photo right here. This is what the truck looked like when I put the deposit down. This is what the truck looks like right now. Um, there's gonna be some things done, like the bumper is gonna get repainted because it's got you know a bunch of small paint chips and stuff. You know, and uh, I'll show you the hood here in a minute. Kind of, kind of heartbroken about the hood, but it's it's not too far gone. It's just gonna need fixed. Um, but yeah, we'll go over a full build spec in the next video when we get rid of this wheel and tire makeshift concept. But it makes a lot of horsepower. It's awesome. Coming into the interior, so you turn the key on, tap the throttle just a little bit, and hit the button. She fires right up immediately. So that's the way it starts, which is awesome. Works totally fine. It does have a pull to stop little rod right there. You pull it to kill it. It's also got a torque converter lockup switch. Then to turn it off, all you do is pull that and turn the fuel off. Then you're done. And then if you look at the windshield, you'll see, oh my gosh, that glass is so clean and perfect. Well, the windshield, the windshield is not the original windshield. Many of you picked up on what I was talking about the other day when I said, well, I had a deposit on a truck, I was supposed to go pick it up today, but let's just say the hood wasn't completely latched and some unfortunate events took place immediately after that. Well, he had driven it for like the first time, I think it was, after sitting all winter. He just wanted to take it for a spin before he sold it, just to make sure everything's good, you know, it's still running good. And he goes down the road, hood wasn't latched all the way apparently, flies up, smashes the windshield. Um, I'll show you the hood here in a minute, but smashes the windshield out. So he gave me a dramatic discount on the price that we had originally agreed to because of the inconvenience of not being able to pick it up when I was planning on and the fact that the hood does need some touch up work. It's nothing that's like, oh my gosh, I'm terrified. And the truck did also come with brand new wheels and tires. Brand new 20 by 12s and Kenna Cleaver tires. And so that's awesome. It's running, of course, an aftermarket lift pump, traction bars, I mean, everything. Firepunk built transmission. It does have a completely built 47 RH transmission that was completely built by Firepunk. He said that he might have a few trips and a few hundred miles total on the transmission um, since it was done. So he said it's fresh and everything's pretty much new and good to go. The truck does also have a bed mounted trans cooler. Thing is brand stinking new. And then here's the hood. This hood might look a little bit familiar. My father-in-law's Ram 1500 has the exact same hood on it. Hoods, for the most part, in good shape. For the center part that smacked the windshield that was on it before and completely destroyed the glass, I mean, it was trash. Let me show you a photo right here. It was trashed. Cal hood made the windshield go even worse because of course the extra amount of rays up on the hood just took out the windshield um, far worse than it would have been if it was like a stock hood. We're gonna have it completely repainted and redone. The paint on the truck is not old, so it's not gonna be hard to match. He's just gonna send me the paint code and then I'm gonna take this over to Miguel and he's gonna completely redo the hood and the front bumper because it does have this little tiny, I can, I can show you. See this little tiny, see this little tiny nick? I don't even know if you can see it. You can see that little shiny spot right there. Well, 
that's pretty much the full extent of the damage on both sides. Just got one little spot like that on each side. Then the part that hit the glass right here, it's got a couple little tiny paint chips, but no actual damage to the hood in terms of like actual damage, like, you know, crinkling the hood or anything like that. So for the most part, the hood's in really good shape. It just needs that done. And I believe we have new hood hinges for it as well. I can hop out of the wind here just a little bit, just in case I can't, I can't tell how the audio is while I'm filming. I don't really find out until I get in on my laptop and I can hear how good or bad it is. When I saw this truck, I actually thought it might've been the one that we had done at a first glance. And then I, you know, looked through the photos. I'm like, yeah, no, it's obviously not that truck. And then um, I was like, it's only, it's only an hour and 45 minutes away, two hours. I'm like, that's not bad. I'm like looking at it, I asked a guy, you know, and you know, message him about it. And I was gonna ask him how much more he'd come down on the price, but it was just listed for like two hours. And I was like, I'm not even gonna ask him because I'm like, he's probably already got plenty of messages because his price wasn't ridiculous like most of these guys that are trying to sell their trucks. I messaged him and I said, how much to hold it? You know, a couple hundred bucks, like, okay, cool. I wanted it so bad because it resembled the second gen Longhorn that we did pretty much just like that truck, except for A, it's an automatic with a fully built Firepunk Trans versus a five-speed manual. But it has all the power under the hood that I wanted to do with that truck, but we never got to doing. And so that's what makes me so freaking excited about this is it's got so much power and so much stuff done already. And like pretty much everything's brand new. He pretty much bought the truck, did some of the power upgrades to it and stuff that wasn't quite finished to where he wanted it. And then he's having a kid. So truck had to go up for sale, you know, family man, I totally get it. Totally get why he had to sell the thing. It's just not a good family vehicle. He's gonna be replacing it with, uh, I think he said he's selling this and his Duramax. They're both regular cabs and he's gonna get a crew cab. But this truck resembled a 2.0 version of the second gen Longhorn. If I still had that truck and I was gonna completely redo it, this truck has pretty much everything under the hood that I would do if I had that truck back again to do it. I believe I got new hood hinges in the barn for this hood. We're gonna drop it off first thing tomorrow morning. The hood's gonna get fixed and then we're gonna throw on the new hood hinges and he's gonna actually paint the hinges and put it back on the truck and then that'll all be good to go from that aspect. And then we're actually gonna have the truck taken up to extreme automotive detailing, have a full paint correction done on the thing, all the little scratches and all the little flaws in the paint. We're gonna have them go over the whole thing, get all the little swirl marks and scratches out of it that it might have, and then go from there. But I mean, I'm pretty excited about this thing. If you could have this interior any way you'd want it, and since it's already got so much done under the hood that I would have done to it, which is one of the biggest reasons I bought it, what would you do with the interior? If you had no limit on budget and you just wanted to have at it with the interior of this truck, right now it's got gray cloth seats in it, but a brand new black, headliner in it with uh, brand new black visors and black gauges, black trim bezel um, around the dash. But if you could do anything to the interior, what would it be? Comment down below and I'm gonna take everything into consideration. Again, super simple to start. Turn the key forward, push a button. It's as easy as that. Did I show you underneath this freaking thing? Oh my gosh, I mean look at the rockers. No rust. Look under here. Yeah. Look at that. No rust anywhere. Hopefully it can focus. I think it's focusing as good as it can. Absolutely no rust anywhere underneath. But as cool as this truck is, as sweet as this truck is, you know what would be even cooler than that truck right there? is winning this truck right here for a few bucks on lnpgear.com. Yes, again, I wish I could hop around the outside of this thing with 30 mile an hour win and you guys could hear me totally great. Those days are coming soon enough once we get the shop. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm so freaking excited to get the shop. Almost zero neighbors, way back off the road, away from traffic. It's a beautiful setting. I can't wait to show you guys. If you want to get entered to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, today is your last day. This is your final day. Final reminder until this giveaway is over. Yes, it is ending today. So if you do not get in, today. You can't get in for this giveaway. Guys, it's so simple to get entered to. You just go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, a hoodie like this, it could be a hat like this one, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Maybe you don't need any more clothing and you wanna buy coffee, and you already buy coffee on a weekly basis anyways. We sell coffee, we sell ground, we sell whole bean, we sell pods, we sell espresso, we sell small bags, big bags. I mean, we sell all that stuff like over 50 different types of coffee. We got flavored and origin blends and all kinds of stuff. Not only that, we got car cleaning products. You guys need detailing products? We've got those too. Maybe you're wanting to start detailing your vehicle more because the weather's getting nice in a lot of the US. It's now or never. 
last chance. Um, some products might be sold out by the time we get over there, but if it says it's available in the store, it's available. And yes, the giveaway is open to Canadian residents. Our giveaways have pretty much always been open to Canada. Just a quick reminder in case you're not sure. Yes, Canadians can enter and win as well. So thanks so much guys for all the love and all the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Head on over to lmpgear.com and claim those entries because somebody's gotta take this thing home and that person could be you.